Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Emeka. I'm back with another video. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good, man. If you are doing good at the moment, go ahead and like the video. Um, that lets me know that you're having a great day. Now, if you're not having a great day, still go ahead and like the video, man, because hey, it helps the channel out. Um, I'm, I'm doing something different. I haven't done anything boxing related. I may, you know, do more of these kind of videos. Who knows? But it's Manny Pacquiao. The crazy speed now i've seen a couple of his fights um i know he's really 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 good he's a legend at the moment he's a politician in the philippines that's all i know about him um i personally want to get into boxing at some point i've done some mma kind of stuff but i want to get into boxing and i may i may learn a thing or two from watching this video you know what i mean i may learn a thing or two from manny pacquiao um, let's go ahead and check this video out, man. If you're a big fa uh, Manny Pacquiao fan, let me know how long you have been a fan of his in the comments. Let me know some interesting facts about him. If you do, um, I'm here to learn. Let's check it out. He is an amazing fighter with speed and strength. Is Possessing he? good stamina and a knockout punch. Filipino Manny Pacquiao made history by becoming the first pro boxer to win eight league titles in eight different weight categories. Damn. Manny won the vast majority of his Ooh. fights by knockout and furthermore has defeated a large number of great boxers. Among them are Oscar De La Hoya, Ricky Hatton, Miguel Cotto, Eric Morales, and Marco Antonio Barrera. The world I've heard I've heard of Cotto and I've heard of Oscar Oscar De La Hoya. Those are people that Mayweather also fight, I believe, right? World of um, Boxing introduces you to the top 10 knockouts of Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao's career. So much power in those hands. In June 2002, Manny Pacquiao met with the undefeated Mexican champion, Emmanuel Lucero. I bet this guy was like, hey, this is just another piece of cake. You know what I mean? This is just this Lucero guy. It's going to be a walk in the park. A little did he know. At the beginning of the third round, Pacquiao hit a strong left hook to the head. Lucero Ooh. staggered and turning his back to Pacquiao reached the ropes. The referee intervened and stopped the fight. At the same time, Lucero fell to his knees. He, he got up, but did not argue with the referee's decision. Boom! Had him doing a stanky leg. Mm, 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 mm. Lucero had a great style if uh, people were throwing coins into the ring. And he, was <laughs> he said, get me out of here. <laughs> In January 2006, a rematch took place between Ooh. Eric Morales and Manny Pacquiao. This guy has been a referee for a long ass time. I've, I swear I've seen that, that face recently. Ooh. Ooh. At the end of the 10th round, Pacquiao made a left cross to the head, and Morales fell to the canvas. He barely managed to get up before the count of nine. When he rose, Pacquiao immediately threw a series of blows to the head, after which Morales fell for the second time. This it's time, over. the referee did not count and immediately stopped the it's fight. It's over. Morales did not argue. Did they fight again? I doubt it. If he did this to him in the second fight, what did he do it to him? And like, did they, did it go the distance? Did they, you know what I mean? Like, what did he do to him in the first round, in the first match, that had him thinking, "Hey, you know what? I can beat him the second time." In April 2007, Jorge Solas entered the ring against Manny. At the beginning of the eighth round, Pacquiao struck his opponent on the jaw, and with his left uppercut, the Mexican Ooh. fell. He stood at the last moment. Pacquiao immediately carried out a spate of strikes Ooh. and sent him back to the canvas with a left cross. Stay down, bro. The Mexican could Stay not down. rise before the count of ten, and the referee stopped the match. Boom. 
survived the bad. On July 23rd, 2001, Manny Pacquiao entered the ring against Lilo Hanolo Ledwaba. In this weight category, Manny Pacquiao again won the WBC title and went on to defend it five times before he had the chance to compete for the IBF title. This fight was Manny's debut. Now, I don't know too much about these titles. If someone can like kind of explain that to me, please, please, please. Um, in the USA, where he won by TKO and gained his second prestigious title, the IBF title. The fight was held at the MGM Grand, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. He's been caught by surprise. He's so confident. Just look at him. No oh! Oh! Sit your ass down, bro. Bloody nose. A resignation in the he got up. Yeah, and Joe Cortez has seen enough. Ooh! Boom! Speed and power. Manny Pacquiao versus Jorge Elicier Julio. This was the third fight of the 23-year-old Pacquiao in the United States. 23-year-old at this point. Julio is looking so confident. Julio so was confident. a veteran of the ring himself, a former two-time world champion who had never been knocked out. Ooh. Touch gloves, good luck. Look, it's so confident. Let's see what happens. In the first round, Pacquiao's speed and quickness stood out. Ooh! It takes a lot of energy to start those punches. Oh, that's a huge left hand shot. And the right hand shot. And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. In the second round, Pacquiao finally knocked out Julio. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. By that was, this right here was all in the first round. I think he dropped him twice. And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. In the second round, Pacquiao finally knocked out Julio. Damn. This performance by Pacquiao was a key moment in his career. Ooh. Referee's like, man, you, you've taken too much. Never been knocked out my ass. Manny Pacquiao versus Marco Antonio Barrera. Wait, so at the this point, is, is, fight is, is, is Pacquiao still undefeated at this point? Is he? His career was a meeting with Mexican Marco Antonio Barrera. The Philippine boxer who had previously beaten the so-called no-names went out to fight for the world title in November of 2003. Mm. At the beginning of the first round, Pacquiao unsuccessfully kept his balance and fell. And the referee mistakenly called it a knockdown. No. There was no impact from Barrera, and the Filipino was angered by this. Oh, they pissed him off. At the end of the 11th round, Pacquiao forced Barrera to kneel, indicating a knockdown. One of the most, one of the most kneel to me, boy. And look at that. He's still swinging, swinging, and swinging. That cardio is... That cardio Subsequently, is Subsequently, Manny crazy. finished him off, forcing the referee to stop the fight. This fight was a surprise for many experts and the real beginning of Look the path that. of greatness for the Philippine boxer. Still swinging. <laughs> His team Manny was crying. Pacquiao. His team crying like, bro, we had to throw in the towel, man. You were getting your ass Versus Miguel beat. Cato. In a duel with Puerto Rican Miguel Cato, I remember Pacquiao this guy. won the WBO world title I think for the he fought against Mayweather. To Either that or I saw this pounds. fight. Cato, at the time of the battle, had already defeated Michael Jennings and Joshua Clotty. Note that this fight between Manny and Miguel was billed as a super fight. However, no one expected that the fight would end up being such a one-sided beating Damn. in the ring. Pacquiao did whatever he wanted with the Puerto Rican. In Look at him. In championship rounds, Same Manny referee. generally staged... See what I'm saying? I, I know I've seen it. Well, I don't know how how old this fight is. I'm sure they did show it, but... The beating. And the referee, referee same, stopped this action referee. at the beginning of the 12th round. And I think he's still a referee at this... At this I mean, he's still a referee. Still a referee now. Sometime later, Damn. Pacquiao admitted to reporters that the fight with Cotto was one of the most difficult in his career. It didn't look like it. It did not look Manny like Pacquiao it. Manny Pacquiao versus David Diaz. 
June 2008. Manny Pacquiao entered the ring against WBC World Lightweight Champion David Diaz. He looks scared a little bit. You could, you could, he looks, oh! Pacquiao dominated the whole battle. At the end of the ninth round, he threw out a right jab and then held a short oncoming left hook to the oh, jaw. The American go to collapsed onto the canvas. The referee immediately stopped the fight. Diaz was lying on the floor for about a minute. Damn! Welcome to the lightweight division. Manny Pacquiao was sensational tonight. He put on a clinic and improved. Manny Pacquiao versus Morales. Eric Morales, the third. The third fight. fight. Often Pacquiao's confrontation. Wait, what happened? If someone can explain this, what happened in the first two fights? Did Pacquiao lose to him? Why are they fighting a third time? Relations with rivals did not end in one match. His rivalry with Eric Morales lasted for three suspenseful fights. In their first fight, Pacquiao got a dissection and lost to his more experienced opponent on points. No. And in the second match, he took revenge by knockout. Ooh. Their third battle was the tiebreaker. Okay, okay, so he lost to him. Okay. Thanks for answering that question, brother. In the second round, the Mexican missed an oncoming right hook to the jaw Boom. and dropped to one knee. It was the beginning of the end for Morales. Previous bouts have shown that a knockdown mm. in a duel with Pacquiao is a harbinger of trouble. Manny wasted no time in trying to finish off his opponent. He's just so quick. He is in just the so third quick. Round when Pacquiao dropped Morales to the canvas in a hail of blows, the Mexican could not stand up before the count of ten. He's like, what did I sign up for? What did I get myself into? Boom! Oh my gosh! Manny Pacquiao versus Ricky Hatton. When it comes to the Pac-Man's most significant victories, you have to mention the unexpected conclusion of the bout with Britain, Ricky Hatton. For Pacquiao, the battle with the Englishman was a comeback after a short downtime. The Filipino was considered to be the popular one, but no one expected that in this debut welterweight match, Hatton would be knocked down oh, in the wait, first wait. So round. He's trained by the Mayweather. Same referee. I'm like, I know I've seen him. In the first three minutes of the battle, the Briton fell into two heavy knockdowns, but ended the round on his feet. The end of the battle came in the last minute of the second round, when an accurate hit from Pacquiao's left cannon oh! flew into the Briton's jaw. Hatton went down in a deep knockout. As a result of this fight, he decided to retire shortly afterward. This knockout was recognized as the My best goodness. in 2009. Boom. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button if you enjoy. Definitely pressing the like button. Hey, I enjoyed this. Man, Pacquiao is a beast. Makes me want to start boxing tomorrow. I enjoyed this. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to. Catch you guys later. Peace.